When I was a boy, I used to see my grandpa build toys out of wood. And they're real simple toys, but I think it was there that the seed was planted. I have this intense desire to create things, but I was advised to become a teacher where you're in a, a building or an office or a classroom setting, something that's normal and something that the cultures can accept a lot more easily. I taught for 10 or 11 years. When I came into being a shop teacher, I basically just inherited a whole entire shed of wood. Didn't know what to do with it and was advised to throw it away because it didn't pertain to our specific curriculum that we were doing, and I couldn't throw it away. Uh, God started to download an idea on me to make a table out of this type of lumber for my wife. And I was really encouraged at that point after people saw what I had done. They kept coming by and saying, Josh, you gotta do something with this. This is, this is awesome. Don't just let this sit. It's hard to live off one salary as, a, as an educator. And so I ended up taking on a, another traditional type of job, selling insurance, and just still wasn't content there. Had a hard time uh, sitting down a lot and sitting in the car and driving. My heart was so dead in the career aspect of it that I was ready to, to risk so much to, to try doing something that I loved doing. And I remember God specifically saying, stop working today for insurance, and in two weeks, I will bring you orders. And uh, I started building tables. And by the end of the first week, we had an order. And by the end of the second week, we had our second order. We take old discarded lumber, old wood that most people would throw away. Um, and if you see the pile of wood that's behind my shop, it, it literally looks like a dump back there. And then we'll take that old discarded lumber and we'll make it some, into something new and something beautiful. And that is such a parallel with my own story and our own lives and everyone's lives really, how we all need to be made new and need a savior. For years, what I was doing was so conflicting with what my heart wanted to do that God has put inside each one of us that we're created for a purpose. Work becomes worship when I see that I'm fulfilling what I'm supposed to be doing.